My name is Kelly. I'm the service manager at All Seasons Spas. We get a lot of questions about water clarity and what to do if your water gets cloudy. One of those ways is to check and adjust your chemicals on a regular basis. That's done very easily with test strips. Your water chemistry should have a parts per million of two to three for your chlorine level and or bromine level, and then your pH level should be between a 7.4 and a 7.6. You can add chlorine to the hot tub at any given time, and it's really best to do that after each bather. A teaspoon to a tablespoon, depending upon the size of the hot tub that you own, The easiest way to keep your hot tub bubble free or foam free um, is just a few simple steps. You want to make sure that all the swimwear that's going to be used in the hot tub is laundered. Laundered without detergent and without fabric softener. Often too many times the swimwear actually makes it in the same load as the towels and that usually is where you see the most fabric softener. You want to make sure that if you have long hair that the long hair gets put up and you want to definitely limit the amount of lotions or body oils used. When you're checking your filters in your hot tub, it's very important that you shut the breaker off for the hot tub first. That ensures that nothing is bypassed through the filters and gets sucked into the pump. This is a jacuzzi model. Now on this particular model, the filters are underneath the skimmer shield. You lift off on the sides, and then the filters are screwed in place. You're able to unscrew the filters and remove both of them and hose them out. That is something that needs to be done to a hot tub approximately every 30 days. The filter media cartridges last anywhere from 9 to 12 months with normal use. With light use, you can get roughly 12 to 18 months out of your hot tub filters. By hosing them out and soaking them in a cleaning solution, you can get them back to almost new. So you'll want to tighten them as much as you can to where it's not spinning, but you don't want to over tighten them just enough that they're insecure. Then you're able to put the skimmer shield back on and it just pushes down the latch and holds nicely into place. We are here seven days a week to answer any questions that you may have. Feel free to give us a call or stop in the showroom at All Season Spas and we'll definitely help you out. Mm -hmm.